Hello, today I'm using the Kiara Sky Jelly Tips Dotted Kit. I chose the medium coffin. It comes with four bottles with prep, primer, builder, and the tucker. And it comes with a small LED lamp as well. So I have taken off my previous set already. I'm just gonna start with the prepping. I'm starting with my e file bit to prep around the cuticle to get rid of the dead skin. So with this system, it's quite new. I believe the first brand who produced this is Apris. And then we got like obviously Kiara Sky, the one we're testing today, and I know some other British brand like Misu and Ink London also have the similar system. I have never tried the rest of them. So if anyone have tried and like them, welcome to comment below and let me know. After the prep, I'm just gonna matching up the tips to my nail bed to find my sizes. I also need to slightly file around these tips to make them match my nail bed better. If I don't do so, there will be a lot of air bubble when applying these later. I've also used my e-file to buff the back of these jelly tips. I just forgot to record them, sorry about that. And I'm just gonna apply the prep and primer. So you don't need a separate base coat, just simply use the number three builder to apply on your nail plate, then put in to cure for 30 seconds. then here comes the tricky part so you need to apply the good amount of the builder at the back of the jelly tip then you need to press it down firmly on your nail bed without curing and squeeze out all the air bubbles and then while it's still there put it under the mini lamp to do a flash cure and then I pop it into my normal lamp to do the full cure So while doing these, I find it quite easy with my dominant hand but later on when I did um, the other hand, I found it a little bit tricky because maybe it's my problem with this non-dominant hand it's easily to place the tip not very straight so the nail looks a little bit crooked even though I can file it afterwards to kind of correct it but it's still one thing about this system that I'm not 100% happy about. Okay, so after applying all the tips, I just need to quickly shape and file with my e-files perfect around the cuticle area, get rid of any little bits of the gel that stick onto the skin and finish with my buffer then I'm ready for the design for the design I'm trying to create a kind of see-through-ish jelly galaxy look so those are the colors I'm gonna use and I've mixed the dark blue which is Royal Navy with my base coat about 50-50% so the finish will look quite see-through and it's like a jelly texture I'm just gonna apply the color with my brush and remember to apply thinly you can do a few more layers, it's alright but it's quite important you have to apply thin and even And then for the galaxy look, I'm using this thick ombre brush. It's a little bit different from the ordinary ombre brush on the market. This one is much thicker, but it's really good to create these kind of almost like sponging look. Because of the hair, it's almost like a tiny sponge, but it's much easier and much better. 
because the sponge as all you guys know it actually gathers a lot of dust a little fluff random things and it's stuck in the nail and with this ombre brush um, this problem is solved yeah So I'm just taking my time to add up more colors to create the look I want to and it's important to clean the brush between the steps so otherwise the color will look dirty. Then I just add a little bit of the pinky color to create a bit like the galaxy cloud look. And then I'm just adding some depth with the base color. And then I just add some glitter so it will look like little stars. Then I need to paint some uh, white stars. So for the detail painting, I find that the stamping gel is actually a good alternative to the acrylic paint but it does have a little bit problem with the consistency so that's why I mix with some normal white gel polish With the ombre design it's even more easier just use the brush to paint the base color halfway and then ombre with the ombre brush because this color is really transparent really jelly ish so it's much much more easier to create an ombre look and the fading looks really natural so to finish the design I put the long white tap coat which is actually the number four comes with the starter kit to cure it and then I just add this pearly chrome powder only on the ombre design nails and then finally of course re tap coat and cure it and then I just apply some of my homemade cuticle oil generally I'm very happy with this starter kit it's quick easy to use it takes about less than one hour to finish a set and I'm quite happy about it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe and follow my Instagram.